review, you're probably like, why are you reviewing this? There's a specific reason uh, tied to. So I reviewed Mallrats recently. And um, when Mallrats came out, I was like 12, 13 or whatever. And uh, there was MTV did a bunch of programming. They did uh, the MTV Mallrats premiere special. And I it was they released it on a Saturday and only at night and I couldn't watch it at night and I remember they're playing it that weekend but I went camping with my Boy Scout troop and I was super bummed and I thought well MTV replays everything they'll replay this they never did and I could never see this special and I always wanted to and I'd search on YouTube and it was never there and um, then recently when I went when I watched Mall Rats I searched I'm like I wonder if that special's there and it was it was there and uh, so I watched it. So 25 years later, I finally saw the Mallrats uh, MTV premiere special. It isn't really good. It's kind of a weird snapshot of the 90s. Use the link I provided. Um, but it's just so strange to me, this whole whole thing, because you get this kind of peek into the 90s. You see, like, Jane and Bobber have these wraparound segments throughout it, and they're trying to get into the premiere um, it sort of reminds me of the the segments, the hosting segments they made for MTV um, later on. Uh, they would actually have little like commercial break segments from Jay and Silent Bob in like the late '90s. This sort of gives you a snippet of that. It's a little dumb, but it's like kind of a little funkier. Um, they have Kennedy, who was a host. I never really got the deal with her, like why people cared about her. Why people were upset bought by her. People would always have opinions on her. Now she works at Fox News, so that's my opinion on her. But she's the host of this thing. She's not really that funny. She's very quick and, you know, I get the energy to it. This is so 90s. It has, like, you know, all the cast of Mallrats. It has a performance from Sponge. Who, fun fact, is, well, I think the drummer or something is related to Tom from the Round Table distantly. I always remind him of this because he told me. And I think that's, it's cool for only me. Because I'm the only one old enough to remember who Sponge is. Um, and it has, you know, very various 90s things throughout it. It's not good, but uh, I would say it's a nice little snapshot of the 90s. Which, um, it's kind of weird to, like, watch something from 90s MTV that you've never seen before. Because this is just, like, you have Jason Lee with his weird haircut. You have Kevin Smith relaxing, uh, hanging out with Kennedy. Having him interview, like, you know... Um, uh, Jason Lee and they have to introduce Jason Lee and say well he's really more of a skateboarder this is his first role and they have to explain who Jason Lee is all those things it just gives you like the idea of like the Mallrats movie that they thought it would be um, but it's just so weird to see an old MTV movie special especially one that I'd never seen before of a 90s movie it was equally funny the only other celebrity they had in it uh, was um, Nev Campbell um, which that was interesting and you know Stan Lee was there also I would just say, you know, I finally got to watch this over 25 years after missing it to go on some, you know, Boy Scout troop trip, which was fine. I remember somebody told me on there that they didn't think the Beach Boys pet sounds were good and they liked their work before. So that was the kind of energy I had there. 25 years later, I finally got to watch this. So, you know, it's cool. I did learn from doing this that Kennedy is a conservative libertarian and got into that from Kurt Loder who gave her an Ayn Rand book, and I was like, oh man, Kurt Loder sucks, cool, I needed that in my life, thank you Wikipedia, and real life, it was just, it was just like, wow, the 90s did suck, I don't know, this was an interesting just like snapshot of what 90s MTV was really like, and what their movie specials would be like as well, and it was just like a fun little thing to go, oh cool, that was MTV in the 90s, and that's, I guess, how they covered Mallrats. They didn't have a lot of faith in it, because I think they premiered this on a Saturday. But if anyone has any other MTV uh, Mallrats specials that I couldn't find, post them below in the comments. I would love to see them. Um, but I guess maybe this is more of a nostalgic thing for me. It was just, like, a funky little way, like, MTV would cover things. She kept making, like, dumb jokes to movies. She actually said, like, what was that other movie you made, El Mariachi? Ha, ha, ha. Because you know two independent movies? I uh, Whatever. This was just... I finally got to watch something from 25 years. I guess maybe I'm just telling people because I wanted to say I watched this, and now I did, and... Yeah, it's... It's... Yeah. I don't know. If you watch this, I don't... I never got who Kennedy was. I was more of a Tiki God VG pers VJ person. 
than I was a Kennedy person. I don't get, I don't get her, but it was kind of fun to see that MTV aesthetic with Mall Rats, which I'd never gotten to see before. And see, you know, they even do a bit on stink palming with Kennedy. It's hilarious. You know, this, I don't know. It's just a little weird blast from the past and shows you like how they were trying to make Mall Rats a hit movie, even though, you know, they totally failed. So yeah. All right. <laughs>